Welcome back to Rackspace's live coverage from Austin, Texas at the Tech Gathering of the Year. You know, the place where Twitter found its wings. Foursquare checked in and Siri found her voice. It's Robert Scoble and friends live. The Open Cloud Experience. Hey, welcome back to the Rackspace Open Cloud Experience at South by Southwest. We continue to see really interesting startups from across the industry who are trying to do different things. You know, when I was at the parties last night, talking to entrepreneur, entrepreneurs at the Path and Spotify party, they were uh, talking about how hard it is to find talent. And uh, Flynn uh, is one of the companies that we're gonna hear about right now that has a new idea of how to hire people. So, so who are you? Great to and meet thanks you. thanks for coming on. Yeah, definitely. Thanks for getting up early. Yeah. I know it's tough on uh, Monday morning <laughs> after uh, uh, a weekend here at South <laughs> Yeah, definitely. Um, well, my name is Victor Young, and I'm the CEO and uh, a co-founder of Flindra. Yeah. And we are a, an exclusive college-centric marketplace where students, staff, and alumni can hire or be hired. So we, think, we like to think of ourselves as the Airbnb for college service providers. And why do we need this? Because, I mean, there's so many places to find talent. LinkedIn is certainly the big, uh, the big elephant on the yeah. block right now. But, you know, Monster and da-da-da-da. Why, why do we need it yet another site? And what, what makes you unique? Yeah, so we, um, we actually connect people looking to hire with people looking to post their services. We connect those two via transactions. So that's the difference, is that you've got, um, right now, Web 1.0, the, the Web 1.0 way of meeting and networking and um, perhaps trying to find new jobs is, is actually going out to even places like South by Southwest um, or going on places like Craigslist, uh, even AngelList, um, you know, LinkedIn, and shooting off your, uh, your resume or sending a LinkedIn uh, invite, right? So we actually, um, we figured, you know what, we, we actually want to connect people via a common denominator that actually is more relevant and much more uh, emotionally tied to, um, to, uh, to connecting them a little bit more uh, sufficiently. Okay. And we believe the transaction component, the commerce component is more important. So when you say transaction, because yeah. I'm having my head, heart, you know, at Rackspace we get thousands of resumes every year. Yeah. What, what are you talking about transaction in the hiring process? I don't get that. So uh, here, here's a common uh, problem. So the white elephant in the room right now is if I wanted to connect with you, let's say uh, if Flinja wanted to hire you, right, Robert Scoble, for, for something. Yeah. What, how would I traditionally have to do that, right? I, of course, would have to know someone that knows you. Yeah. Um, perhaps you were uh, a student from um, the school that I went my alma mater, right? Perhaps I would link, just blindly LinkedIn you or go through some of the other avenues, right? Um, so we feel we can take that white elephant out of the room, which is how can I connect with Robert and hire Robert, and just have you come into the platform, specifically let everyone know, hey, I'm Robert Scoble, I offer startup consulting, and I offer it at $250 an hour. That's just an example, right? Exactly. I mean, yours is probably much higher. But, uh -huh. <laughs> but um, and so we believe that there is a, uh, there's always going to be demand out there for, uh, for the supply. Yeah. The problem is the supply and the demand uh, are, it's very asymmetrical right now. They're not finding each other. It's not, it's not a problem that you can't, um, that I'm not able to connect with you, right? It's just that there are so many barriers to entry. There's so many filters uh, involved. And uh, we believe that the relationship um, that is garnered from the actual transaction piece, so if I hire you, now we're like, we're really getting there where we're solidifying our relationship. And so that's what Flinders is about. And okay. so we're targeting, you know, on the supply front, it's, it's actually students and alumni. Um, and then on the demand front, it, it's really anybody. Can we know. see it so that we sure. have some context of what we're talking about? Yeah, uh, so this is, uh, we're on the, the main search results page right now. So if we were, let's say on LinkedIn, for example, or um, you know, on Craigslist, you know, the, the problem is that uh, you're gonna be getting thousands and thousands of text-based emails, right, with PDFs attached. So this obviously beautifies it, right, and, and it's a very Pinteresty type of feel. So uh, let's say I just wanted to focus on Cornell, for example, right? Okay. I'm uh, I'm based in Ithaca, 
and I simply want to hire someone for Cornell. So I'm going to go ahead and choose Cornell here from the drop down. And um, I'm going to, you know, I don't have to go trying to figure out who all these people are. I can actually go in and specifically um, trying to uh, put and I like out the Wi Fi. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, that, uh, let's just uh, let it run and see if yeah. it catches up. So, so it lets you search for a very specific demographic, very specific region, very specific school? School, skill sets as well. So who uh, are you selling this to? Is it to the job seeker or is it to the job, uh, like Rackspace needs to hire 10 people this yeah. month and various different things? Well, right now our bread and butter demand comes from startups. Yeah. So startups are, you know, they, they've got a low budget. And, uh, but they're trying to find geniuses out there. They're trying to find the next Zuckerberg, the next Bill Gates, right? And quite frankly, you know, uh, they are somewhere in here. And so what they're doing is uh, they're finding it, you know, I'm going to just go, this is one of our features here, the feed, yep. which allows you to just kind of, um, as an employer, or also on the flip side as a Flinja, be able to see who's kind of coming in and, it just gives you this constant um, stream of candidates that you might want to consider. Yeah. We, you know, the, the, the magic behind Flinja is actually our push technology. Traditionally, you have pull technology, which is I have to go out and laboriously look for the positions, right? With Rackspace, with you know, Facebook, with eBay. Uh, we actually do the matchmaking for you. So if you, know, if you came on to, uh, to Flinja, and you posted your service, and, and where are you uh, an alumni? San Jose State. Okay, so San Jose State. So um, there might be someone, let's say, from eBay, for example, looking for San Jose State uh, grads or alumni. So we do all the matchmaking for you. Uh, we actually find those people. We, we introduce uh, to them your, your profile, because we match make you know, certain criteria. And on the flip side, you're also presented with the uh, option as well, because they're going to be bidding for, for your services, right? They're going to want to book you. Cool. So um, I'm, I'm going to put it out there. This is an interesting idea, but you're competing against so many places in my mind for jobs and finding jobs. How are you going to get distribution? How are you going to get yeah. known as a company? Because that's going to be your main challenge. Yeah, uh, exactly. Well, right now we're actually organically growing. We are organically growing because the value proposition that we bring to the table is much different than what you would find from the Web 1.0 1, 1 uh, sites, you know, the Monster, the Craigslist, mm -hmm. the LinkedIn's even. Um, we, uh, students w feel that it, it's kind of chicken or egg in any marketplace, right? But specifically for students where 53% of uh, undergrad uh, grads uh, recent grads are unemployed they have over twenty six thousand uh, uh, dollars on, on average of debt so they're finding our platform to be a great way to start getting hired even for uh, you know for, for the cheap uh, for services that they provide that are relevant to their majors mm -hmm. right for big-time employers or even startups or, or mid-sized employers and start building that resume right start getting that relevant experience right off the bat and on our site so this um, lets a student go for an hourly job, correct? Right, instead of having to go for a permanent position. Yeah. Right. So it's it's very. Uh, LinkedIn is all about getting a permanent position exactly. at, a, at a Google or Rackspace or Facebook or whatnot. Right? Yeah. So our our focus is I should probably should have explained that our focus is the part time freelance yeah. kind of you know uh, uh, workplace, um, and so a perfect example let's yeah. say of you know um, a a someone's profile. Let's just. I mean, this person just came in, so you know. Let me open his. Uh, looks like he's from Kansas City. So you know, here he is uh, posting. Let's see, Sam Nichols. If you're looking on there right now, uh, then uh, you know, marketing coordinator, project manager. All right. Yep. Uh, Twenty-six dollars forty-five cents an hour. So as Flinja, if I'm looking for someone close by, and I'm you know looking to hire in Kansas City. He's, he's someone that I could clearly target. And I don't have to go through all the red tape, I can directly hire right then and there. And then, if you go a little bit further, so let's, let's kind of go, um, let's look up, uh, let's go to this person, for example. No, I get it now, it's, it's for uh, people who are trying to establish themselves. 
yeah. and who are not going to be going for, you, you know, I, I'm sure they're on LinkedIn as well, trying to go for a full-time position at a startup or at a, at a company. But if that's not available to you, well, now, you know, hey, let's part out my time and see if I can do Odesk-style jobs, right? It, so exactly. I guess you're but probably more competing with Odesk than really Monster.com. Yeah, point. but Odesk is all, it's all virtual jobs, right? Uh -huh. These are actually people that you can actually meet locally, yeah. right, that are locally uh, uh, near to you. And, and of course, we've got um, a section where uh, both people can, can give each other feedback. It's like Airbnb, right? They can yeah. give each other reviews. Um, and you can also see exactly what they were hired for and for how much they were hired for as well. Yeah. Um, so it is, it is a great way for, for students uh, and also um, recent grads and alumni to actually build upon their resume. Uh, you know, future business models would probably start to include a way for employers like Rackspace to actually just post a, a full-time job listing, you know, on, uh, on Flinja. Um, and, you know, I guess the market would, of course, be people that have already, you know, uh, probably 24, 25 year olds, they're kind of removed from college by then. Uh, and now they're, they're, you know, looking for, for full time work no, with that's, brag space. That's cool. Um, how, uh, tell me about your company. How is it funded and how many employees are there? Yeah, so we're uh, about six employees right now. Mm -hmm. uh, we are funded by uh, the chairman, CEO, and found, uh, founder of FedEx, Fred mm -hmm. Smith, uh, as well as the co founder of Activision, Howard Marks. Uh, we just opened up our angel round. Um, so, you know, one of our co founders, uh, Ken Miller, as well, he's a PayPal Mafia guy. So, um, you know, we're looking to um, bring in some of the, some of those PayPal alumni and, you know, just guys that clearly understand the transaction, the, the importance of the transaction itself with identifying or with connecting with talent. Um, but yeah, we're, uh, we, we've got a pretty cool, pretty cool team. People from Google, eBay, Cisco, you name it. Yeah. And how are you, uh, what's your infrastructure underneath this thing? It's all PHP. Yeah. yeah. I mean, just and, your typical and what kind of server? Lamp stack. Rackspace. Oh, great. <laughs> yeah. 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 So you're on the cloud, Rackspace cloud? Yeah. Awesome. Exactly. How's it working out? It's working perfectly. Very cool. Yeah, we love it. Very cool. Made, made it much, much easier to, uh, to transition to. We transitioned from a competitor of yours. <laughs> yeah. Now we try to help businesses like you, yours get, get going. Um, what else do we, is there anything else that we need to know? I think it's pretty, it took me a while to understand really what, what made this site different from all the others. Yeah. And it's really the hourly component. Um, so you're almost like the Uber of jobs, right? You know? Yeah. So, yeah, we like to, you know, we. I, I we need a product manager and I don't need them full time. I exactly. need them for four hours next week. Exactly. You know? I mean, you could definitely hire them indefinitely. Like on Odesk, you could. You know, hire people and just continue hiring them by the hour per week, you know, yep. 40 hours a week, et cetera, which is fine. Uh, but our focus right now is, is identifying, we've clearly identified a problem that stems uh, from the beginning of college, right? Um, we obviously want to expand this uh, internationally as well. There's a lot of uh, areas that we find are, are, you know, getting hurt pretty badly yeah. in terms of unemployment, student unemployment. Yeah. Specifically. No, this makes a lot of sense because you, know. you you turn it into a granular, uh, a more granular time-based thing. Yeah. And I I totally understand why startups are more attracted to this because they can't afford, you know, to pay a hundred thousand dollars for a product manager and they don't need it, right? Exactly. You know, I, exactly. Like, I don't need a brand manager if I'm a little tiny startup with two people. Right? Exactly. But I might, yeah. might need a brand manager for four hours next week, right? Yeah. Somebody who can uh, go and build me a logo, and go and build me some letterhead, and go and build me some, you know, web a web presence. Yeah, you know, I, that's only going to be a four-hour job. So this makes a lot of sense. So yeah. thanks for coming yeah, in. Yeah, definitely. Where do we get it? Right. Where do we learn more about? Yeah, Flinja, Flinja.com. And I spell it out: F L I F L I N J A dot com. Very cool. Thank Great. you so much. So that's an example of the startups that we're seeing with different ideas out here in the streets at uh, South by Southwest. Come back every hour on the hour, and we're gonna have a couple of really interesting ones coming up at 11 a.m. and then uh, noon. 11 a.m. is gonna be Expect Labs, which does a really cool hype ad app. The Giga Ohm said it was the coolest thing he saw last year. And uh, uh, at 12, we're gonna have an executive from Salesforce. So thanks for joining us from the Rackspace Open Cloud experience.
When Rackspace's live coverage from Austin continues, we'll show you the future in real time. Rackspace, backed by fanatical support, bringing you live coverage from South by Southwest daily. Hmm, so good, it hurts. The Open Cloud Experience.